show that the general solution of the differential equation x squared over y dy dx equals to 2x plus y may be expressed in the form of x squared plus xy equals to ay, where a is a arbitrary constant. Nine marks. solution so they are saying that the equation is uh, uh, x squared over y dy dx equals to uh, 2x plus y that this equation may be expressed as what as x squared plus xy equals to a ay Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, we shall make that we only remain with the dy dx on this side. We want to take x squared or y on the other side. So, how do we remove it here? We multiply through by y over x squared. So, we shall have y over x squared times x squared all over y dy dx equals to y all over x squared into 2x plus y. We multiply through by y over x squared. Now, this will cancel with that so that we remain with dy dx equals to, now here we have 2yx plus y squared over x squared. <coughs> Here we have just opened up the bracket, so we have this. Now, for us to get the solution of this, um, we cannot integrate this one by direct integration, but we can integrate by substitution, where we say that let y equals to, let y equals to vx. So once we let y equals to vx, we now differentiate this y with respect to x. So we get dy dx equals to, we apply the product rule, put down the first, which is V, then differentiate the second. So we differentiate X. When you differentiate X, you get 1, then plus. We put down the second, which is X, and then we differentiate the first. So we do be DV, DX, meaning that dy DX equals to V plus X DV DX. Uh -huh. So we shall substitute this dy dx by by this because this is dy dx. Therefore, this equation becomes v plus x dv dx equals to. Now here where there is y, we substitute with vx. So here we have two into vx x plus vx squared all over x squared. <clears throat> so um, when we open the bracket here, we have 2vx squared plus v squared x squared over x squared. So here you can factorize out x because it's common. So this equals to x squared into v into 2v plus v squared over x squared. This x and this one will cancel out. <coughs> Therefore, our equation now becomes v plus x dv dx equals to now uh, v squared plus 2v. Now, we can rearrange this. This will be x dv dx, this will cause the other side, so it will be v squared plus 2v minus minus v. So x dv dx equals to v squared plus v. We take 2v minus v, we remain with, with the v. So at this point, we can now separate this. <coughs> we can separate v on one side and x on one, one side. So you divide through this equation by uh, 
by 1 by by x so that on this right will remain with dv dx equals to 1 all over x v squared plus like that we again divide through this equation by v squared plus v so when we do that then we remain with 1 all over v squared plus v dv dx equals to 1 all over x then at this point i now multiply through by dx so that i have 1 all over v squared plus v dv equals to 1 all over x then dx so at this point you can say i've now separated the variables x on this side and then v are on this side therefore i can now uh, perform integration at this point so we shall have integral of 1 all over v squared plus v dv equals to the integral of 1 all over x then dx <coughs> now when you integrate 1 all over x you get ln of ln of x but how do you integrate this you need to express this one in its partial fraction so we shall say um let me write it here so we have one all over v squared plus v um how do we now express this one in partial fraction we can write this one as one all over v into v plus one so here we <coughs> you factorize v out <coughs> one all over v into v plus one this will be k over v plus b over v plus plus one and then we multiply through by the original denominator which is this one so with both sides so on this side we remain with one will be equal to now here we have a a over v times v into v plus 1 then plus b over v plus 1 times v into v plus plus 1 we multiply through by the original denominator so this we will go with this one v plus 1 will go with the v plus 1 so 1 equals to a into v plus 1 plus b plus pv so this equals to av plus a plus bv so here you can group these and this because both the v so we can have a plus v then you factorize out v then plus plus a so at this point we now this is one we equated the corresponding terms so we start with the terms that are v so here we have a plus b equals to zero on this side we, we don't have v therefore we equate a plus b equals to zero and then constant terms we have a equals to one <coughs> so this a equals to one so if a equals to one what is the value of b here um because we know that a plus b equals to zero so a is one so one plus b equals to zero so b equals to negative negative one <coughs> if we come back here remember this one over this this equation now can be written as um the integral of one over v squared plus v dv we can write this one as the integral of um where is the partial fractions as the integral of um one all over v because a is a is one all over v then plus b is minus so this will be minus one all over v plus one then this one is dv dv like that like that so we shall integrate this 
because we have expressed this one in this batch of fractions. So when you integrate one all over v, you get ln of v. Then when you integrate one all over v plus one, you minus ln of v plus one. This one equals to. So we integrated. When you integrate one all over x, you get ln of x. So this will be equal to ln of x then plus a constant of integration. Now we shall let let c equals to ln of what a. We also let this one equals to ln of four. So the equation now becomes when we are subtracting logs, we divide. So this is the same as ln of v over v plus one equals to. Now this one is ln of a. When we are adding logs, is the same as multiplication. So this is the same as a x ln of a x. Now we can drop logs because they are the same. So we have v over v plus one equals to a x. Now remember we had said that y equals to v x. We now need to substitute the value of v. So v from this equation v equals to y all over x. So where there is v, we put the y all over x. So here we have y all over x over y all over x plus 1 equals to a x. So this is 1. We, we let us deal with this denominator. So the LCM here is x, 1. So we have y plus x. So here we have y all over x divided by y plus x all over x equals to a x. Now this is the same as y all over x times um, you get the reciprocal of this, it will be x all over y plus x. This x and this one will cancel. So we have y over y plus x equals to a x. We cross, we multiply both sides by y plus x so that we have y equals to a x into y plus x. Aha, uh -huh. so here. When you open up, when you open up the bracket here, you shall have y equals to a x y plus a x squared plus a x squared. <coughs> now we can factorize out a here. We can factorize a here so that you have y equals to a into x y plus x squared. So you can divide through by a so that you have y all over a equals to a y plus x squared. We have shown. Remember they wanted us to show that that the equation is given by x x x squared plus x y equals to a y where a is a constant. So, uh, so you can see at this point we have over here is a fraction, but it's the similar. So we have a y a equals to x y plus x squared. Uh -huh. So, so the most important here. The most important thing here for us was to be able to, to, to detect that we can only integrate this equation by substitution. And then you navigate it through the way we have done. Uh, substitute by letting y equals to vx. Then uh, differentiate this equation y with respect to x so that you can see that dy dx is given by this. This is now dy dx. So you come under substitute here, dy dx by this. And then on this side where there is y, you put it there vx. And then you navigate through. Up to this point, you can now see, you now need to differ, to separate x and, and v. So once you separate them, then you'll be able to perform the integration. Thank you for watching and listening.